Deagle Brand Eagle. I don't have a counter set up yet, but uh, let's um let's get a count in the chat for how many times I have to quick load during this trek. Because whether or not I have to quick load depends on what the ambush is. Well, that makes our first quick load. All right, so that's quick load number one. Band of robbers. Ah, fuck. I hate this is this is easily a band of robbers with no highwaymen to fight them is easily the most dangerous is easily the absolute most dangerous one that you could get. And I got lucky and killed the, the bitch with the hunting rifle right off the bat. Wow, they are cutting me up like Jack the Ripper. And there I go. All right, so that's quick load number two. Hello. Speaking of highwaymen, hit for eight. Also, by the way, that combat animation. God damn it. Yeah, this is going to kill. Yeah, there's literally. Wait, there's a cave right there. I could cheese. What am I doing? There's a cave. I can cheese this. Oh, thank fuck. Okay. I want... I need a decent fucking gun, so... Want. So, hold on. And... Cave full of babby death claws. How, um... Yeah. What the fuck? There's another end of the cave? What in the world? I've never seen that before. On. Get out of my face. And I'm just going to load that because that did not go how I wanted. Come on. Yeah, I should. Yep, quick load three. Yep. I'm just going to quick load where we got that level up, because this is just garbage. I swear, I have combat speed maxed out, and it's still moving this slow. So, I should probably go... So, I should probably fill the time by saying, why are we going to Vault City? Well, according to... Well, when we first set out on our quest, we were given... For fuck's sake! Or... Yep. For fuck's sake. Can I at least kill her? Retribution! Retribution for making me have to quick load again. There we go. Cut up like Jack the Ripper, like one of his little prostitutes in Whitechapel. Ooh, yes. Uh, yes, Jack the Ripper loves the little pretties, doesn't he? Or in this case, it's Jack the Highwayman. Oh, for fuck's sake! Yeah! Uh. Quick load number five. Yep, quick load number five. And... Oh my god! How many... Fucking highwaymen are there. He slumps to the ground out of the fight. Okay, so the most dangerous one has been taken care of. Her gun. Okay, with those two. F okay. Yes, and PlayStation One, huh? Wasn't Chef. Wasn't Chef's Love Shack, like, so poorly programmed that... Oh, another cave, and Oh, a cave full of... Oh, wow, this might actually... Oh, wow, with equipped with a decent melee weapon, this might actually be worth grinding. We might have gotten lucky. Great party game, huh? 
I seen I know that like half the reviewers that I've seen that have covered the game said something along the lines of We're saying something along the lines of like the game only had like three questions or something like that. Okay. This is scummy, but save scummy. I mean, if we want decent equipment, this is the price out of it in this early in the game. You kind of got to exploit the shit out of it. It has several questions. Huh. So I guess the review... I guess that was another instance of the critics being full of shit, then. Another dead... Another dead highwayman. That's good for me. Just in time, too, because I gotta suck up a stim. So far, this is going better than all the others. We might actually be able to get... Oh, shit. Headshot! Gained five karma. Now let's hear. Now it's a fair fight. We have one bitch fleeing, one guy with just one gun. Okay, yeah. Let's do get repetitive, but the minigames are awesome. Yeah, aren't they also, like, some pretty weird questions, too? Come on. Kill the son of a bitch. Teach him! Teach him why you don't fuck with the player character! Yeah. And we got little miss, I don't want to fight any... Little miss, I don't want to finish what I started, bitch. And she's about to run off the screen, so... Gimme! Only 10 shots, though. Fuck. So I'm still gonna want to have this in my secondary slot. <sighs> but yes! Finally! Range Master! And we have the strength to use it! But in the meantime... Retribution! Oh, it's suppo there's supposed to be a new animation. I guess it's not with this model. Uh, what, what the, uh, uh, uh. Scooby, 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 or I guess scat bitch in this instance. They call him Ugh, Sledgehammer. Why did you throw the spear? Run, 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 run. And Piglet just murdered me. Okay, you know what? I think it's not... You know what? 300 XP is not worth going through all that again. We should probably just get out of here. Managed to fish a hunting rifle off of. No! No, 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 Nope, 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 so much nope. Not doing that one either. What is this here? Hmm, we got ourselves a settlement. Oh, come on. Oh my. Well, we have officially gone through... Well, welcome to MODOK. This is a settlement that is going to be very useful to us and our goals, as well as get us... We might be able to squeeze a level up out of this. Might be able to. But before we do anything... Um, Sulik, what did I load on you? Let's see, what did I load on you, Sulik? Droughts. Another town with an unfortunate drought. Hmm. Something tells me that the past wet season wasn't very wet. 
And I'm not talking about springtime. Not talking about, I'm not talking about the birds, the bees, and the flowers. Although, in the case of the wasteland, I think it would be the mole rats, the death claws, and the spore plants. But that's our town church. An honest to God church that isn't being used to store chemicals to make drugs. You know, I think officially in the Fallout lore, most of the world's religions have unfortunately died off. Because, you know, when you're... Because, you know, during day-to-day -day survival, it's really, really hard to convince people that there's a god that loves them. And yet, Habology is still around. Or rather, Scientology. I guess they'll be con- I guess con men are just one of the consistence of the universe, then. Normal shit. You know I can't make it rain, right? What do you think the tribal rain dances look like in this- in- in the Fallout universe? What do you think they look look like? I mean, I know Mike Burnfire, Zach, kind of makes fun of like the hoo ya hoo ya hoo ya, make it rain. But <laughs> hmm, um, you do know I can't make it rain, right? You chuckle. Are you saying the sperm just sprung up overnight? Yeah, right. <laughs> I mean, what is the deal with just the farms appearing right out of nowhere? Are these ghosts. I mean, this isn't far-fetched. We have seen two ghosts in this game so far. So for all we know, there could be ghosts there. Where's Dan Aykroyd when you need him? What do I get out of this? They return to hell. I mean, not Bill... Is Bill Murray... St I think Bill Murray died. Is Bill Murray... Do you remember if Bill Murray's dead? I can't remember if he died or not. I know... What was his name? Roger Williams? I know he's dead. But he wasn't a Ghostbuster. Barter. I need this from you. Why do we need trinitrotoluene? You'll see. Also, I'll take your rope too. Both of it. Uh, could we? How much for your ammo? For your stacks of ammo? Oh, that works. Yeah, that works. We... Trust me. Bill's still alive? Okay. But he's old at this point. Like, really old. The last movie I saw Bill Murray in was, um... What's it called? Uh... Fuck, what's it called? Harold Ramis is deceased. Okay, yeah. Uh, what was it? What was it? Zombieland. Last movie I saw Bill Murray in was Zombieland. And that was years ago. And he looked like... In, in Zombieland, the dude looked like he was dying. Hold on. I need to use the restroom real quick. So let me put just put this on intermission and I'll be right back. I'm back, sorry about that. Uh, you like the music that I have for the intermission? Or just for the slides in general? <sighs> Little dead cow over here. Now, if we had the doctor's skill, we could revive that cow. Alright, you have a good- Alright, you have a good- You have a good night then, Ten Kid. 
Have a very good night. See you next time. Fuck him up, Sulik. Yeah, huh, sledgehammer. Why? Why? Thank you for dying. Fair. Yeah, playing exterminator again. You gotta play exterminator for a while before you can actually reliably kill people. I mean, to be fair, in real life, the best snipers and gunmen were avid hunters before they entered the military. So they already so they typically already have plenty of experience with killing things. score. Bring it on. I don't think we have the endurance, but it'll give it a shot. It'll be $20. Sure. I'll get it back when I break the record. Start digging the meal with zeal. Effects of overeating. There's some people back home who would love these. Then a batter and some salt and frying grease. It has such a unique texture. These are good. Got your second win and pop another fry into your mouth. <laughs> holy, holy, we just ate third. We, we're on our 38th ser serving of Brahmin fries. Holy shit. It's riled up at that point. Brahmin tidbit must have been going at the speed of light as it suddenly and forcefully propelled from your mouth. But you broke the record at 37. You feel sick. Oh. Hmm, certain words seem to set him off. Rose, room, running. I hear Grisham is trying to marry off his cage. Wonder if Rose wouldn't mind if I get another one. Moving on. I shit in the toilet one day and a big dog climbed out of the sewer. Scared me half to death. Why would there be a... Dog inside of the outhouse. So. Remember earlier when I bought the dynamite? Yeah, we're going to use it. So, uh, so uh, let's see here. Probably going to want to. This has killed me a few times. So, because Crippled. And NPC crippled. Fuck, I don't have a doctor's bag, do I? I failed to do any healing. Ah, fuck. But, uh... Fuck, doctor's skill is way too low. Come on, I want to... Yes, we have to blow an outhouse the fuck up. Let's set it to about... Let's set this to about five min... Oh, three minutes is the maximum we can set it to. But, uh, yeah. We just blew an outhouse right the fuck up. Look at... Ugh, that is disgusting. Safety save here because... Falling down this hole has killed me on occasion. Yeah, no shit. We have been in We have been instructed to take all surfacers to Vigor. You will not be harmed. Please come with us. I'd like to ask you some questions. Vigor will answer all your questions. Please come with us. Okay, I'll go peacefully. I'll go peacefully. A visitor? How convenient. I've been contemplating on a way to make contact with the surfaces. But now I don't have to worry about that, thanks to your timely arrival. Welcome to the home of the Slags. 
Uh, what do you want with me? A simple request. We need to make contact with the town to the southwest. I believe it is called Modoc. Would you do us this favor? I have many questions to ask before I can possibly take this mission. Fair enough. I wouldn't expect anyone to blindly accept tax from strangers without first learning a little bit about them. Ask your questions, and I'll answer them the best I can. Why don't you send one of your own people to deliver the message? Since, since the ceiling, we as a people have changed. Excuse me. You can bear to be on the surface because they are not used to having a black sea of nothingness above them. The sensation of falling upward so great for them that they lie frozen, clutching the ground, but that is not the main reason. All of us cannot stand the bright light of that which you call the sun. Living underground for so long has made our eyes too sensitive to the light. We cannot travel from the safety of our homes beneath the ground. Why did I give this guy the voice that makes it sound like he smokes 20 Marlboros a day? And... Oh, thank you very much. I'm king. Oh. And why are you in just this room? Why are you two in this room alone? Shouldn't you be guarding something? I don't know. I guess it's... I don't know. I guess the, I don't know, there's something real funky happening in that room, I gotta say. And that's a heavy-duty pump, and holy fuck, look at that. It's an underground lake. Hello, haven't seen you around here before. My name is... <laughs> My name is not important. What is important is what I am going to do. <laughs> Points River gets that. My name is Tycho. Very nice to meet you, Taiko. Your mother and father have sent me to find you. Okay. I mentioned that there was a really bad bug here. The bug is that if you tell Joe here about the fake bodies first, you can't tell him about Carl. That is a bug. And if you, you in order to get the good ending, you have to tell him both that Carl's at the den and the bodies are fake. Otherwise, they're going to attack and kill all the slags desperate for their food, food and water supplies. And the thing is, not even the fan patch, not even the unofficial fan patch fixes this bug. The restoration project might fix it, but not the fan patch. So if you're playing this, so if you're playing along in this game and you get to this point and you see this, make sure you save before the conversation. You said armor? No, it is a combat leather jacket. Is unusual and that has two sleeves. It'll definitely make a fashion statement. And, and the thing is, is that it's got higher. It's got a higher. It's got a way higher armor class and act and actually decent resistance. Just look at that. I mean, it's not as good as combat armor, but it's definitely better than leather armor. And also, would you look at that, an ass rifle with some ammo. Problems? There's... What is this? Oh, fuck, I hate Kaga. Kaga is always a few levels above yours. Due to... Kaga. I want to make one thing very clear for you, Kaga. I hate you. You're an asshole. There's a reason why you were cut from... Unlike all the other stuff, there is a fucking reason why you were cut from this game. I don't care about your petty grievances. Shut up and die quietly. You are going to die. You are going to... God damn it. I've obviously got you cornered, so... Clearly, yes, I can. I don't care. Once now, as I was saying, I don't care about your petty squabbles. Shut up and die in pieces. Lucky that son of 
you will die. You will die, and you will never, ever bother me again. Jesus Christ, the amount of hit points this fucker has. Come on. I said die! Thank you. God and hell hubba 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 buoy hubba bubba buoy Sulik, I got something for you. God damn it, Sulik! What the fuck, Sulik? I really want them to bring back the Range Master hunting rifle. Why is it that in all the later Fallout games, it's all just a bolt-action rifle? I mean, that's more... I mean, for general hunting, that's more realistic than a semi-automatic. But even then, the Range Master just has... I love... I love the design of this gun. The Range Master is just such a cool design. It's really fitting for Fallout 2. But yeah, I'm glad that you were able to join uh, join us today, Score. Can you tell me about this? Oh, Disco Dog's here. Hello, how are you doing? Hope you're having a wonderful evening. Hope you're having a wonderful evening there, Mr. Dog. Does Vault City have contact with the outside world? Not much. Most contact we have with the outsiders is merchants traveling the Big Circle Caravan Trail from Broken Hills, blah, blah, blah. What do you uh dad? Uh no I not I mean I don't think so. Oh Vic? There's something you wanna tell us? Is there something you wanna tell us, Vic? <laughs> Selling shiny junk <laughs> ignore her boss, she doesn't know what she's saying. Val, honey. You see, there were slavers and Vic? What the Vic, you got some explaining to do. It's the... So that's your daughter, Vic. Excuse me. Some of the unfiltered water from the courtyard well. Vic, you son of a bitch. You... You are a fucking deadbeat. Wow, you're a shitty fighter. You can't hold your own. You're constantly shooting me back, and you abandoned your family for the life of a traitor. Just a... Uh, Vic... Victor, greasy bastard, scumbag, you're a fucking asshole. We're traveling, we're traveling the wasteland with an asshole, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> exactly, Disco Dog. Exactly. What's the problem with getting more tools? Problem is, I can't just go out and buy some new ones. I have to requisition them from Vault City. Bureaucracy strikes again! God damn it! So what is... I suspect he has a contagious disease. You might want to release him before he infects the other servants. Is that so? Are you aware that each servant is thoroughly checked before being admitted into the allocation center? Are you aware of Tycho Syndrome? It doesn't show up on most medical scans, and its symptoms can lie dormant for weeks. <laughs> what kind of... Tycho Syndrome. A lot of outworlds have it. Its symptoms include speaking when not spoken to and using coarse language. Yes, I have noticed those symptoms in the servants of late. Contagious, you say? Hmm. Well, if this Joshua is a carrier, I shall release him at once. Give me a moment to make the arrangements. Joshua is better with the outworlders anyway. <laughs> we literally just bullshitted this guy out of a servant. 
<laughs> I love this fucking game. Hello and welcome, Traveler. Have you heard of the word today? Uh, no, I haven't. The word, my friend, the word is selfishness. Mix in a slew of arrogance and what do you have? Vault City. It's a self-righteous slave trade in glory. Let's see. Amen, brother. It is time to hear the wailing of our kin outside these walls and let them in. We have more than enough to feed and shelter our brothers. We need not be rich when so many are poor. I hear you. Friend, as long as I look upon you today, I see strength. I see faith. Do my eyes to save me, or do they see a kindred soul that shares my cause? Damn right. Then let me ask you this, my friend. To what lengths would you be would you go to spread the word? No lengths are too long, no distance too great. When the cause is just and the word is true, whatever needs to be done, I will do it. Even though it may mean banishment from the oasis, anything to release my fellow man from his bonds. Leans in. I have a briefcase with information vital to our cause. Will you deliver it to New Reno for me? I would do it, but the citizens here are watching me. Sure, give it to me. Here it is. Deliver this to a man, John Bishop in New Reno. I think pregnant silence is probably the only reaction to that name. Lynette's bad, but Bish John that John Bishop character, I'm not gonna get too into it, but to say the least, he's worse. John Bishop is worse. Let's see here. Yeah, no, don't. Whatever you do, do not drink the water in that well. Do not. It's a bad idea. Make a living. Wait a minute. I just realized this guy's name is Cassidy. And he gets up with the tribal later, canonically. Wait. I think this guy might be the grandfather of Rose of Sharon Cassidy from Fallout New Vegas. If that's the case, holy shit. I was not expecting good on the devs of New Vegas because I was not expecting that sort of callback. Hot damn. You sound pretty, pretty fed up with the play. Now, if, now, if that was a 2-2-3 pistol, I'd be singing a very different tune. Probably something along the lines of, Oh, 2, two 3 pistol, I love you very much. Reference to Blade, or fuck, I can't improv with a shit. Save here, because we gotta run around Gecko. What's in this cave? There might be something neat in this cave. Nope, 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 so much fucking nope. Fuck that, fuck, fuck that. Huh? And uh Poseidon Oil Reactor 5. This is a nuclear power plant. Hello there, smooth skin. The name's Harold. I help keep this town running. Hi, Harold. How are you? Is that a tree going out of your head? Jealous. His name's Herbert. I talk to him when I get lonely. <laughs> Just kidding. His name's Bob. Right. Maybe... What you need, youngster? Okay, now, let me ask you something, though. Tell stories? Straight story. It's really funny. You see... I got this great story. It's really funny. You see this? There's this head, right? Uh-huh. Yeah, it's a head, but it's not attached to a body, you see. It's been severed. A severed head. I see. And this becomes entertaining when... Just hold out a minute. This severed head, you see, it's in hail. <laughs> and it flies around there, you know. In hail. And it runs in all kinds of famous people there. <laughs> severed head in hell and it flies. Well, it's doing stuff. <laughs> and you know it's got things that it wants to do. Or maybe it's forced to do. The point is, it's doing stuff. You know, here, there in hell. <laughs> and I just can't stand it. You're kind of obsessed about this, don't you? No, you just don't understand. It's all about a severed head, get it? <laughs> it's funny. How can you think about severed head in hell of all places and not laugh? 
Woos, I don't know you very well, and I'm pretty sure I don't grump here. Master merchant in this locality, but you can call me just old Percy. Yes, you can. Heck, everybody does. Now, what can I do for you? I was just wondering if you had anything to buy or trade. I sure do. Heck, I got all kinds of stuff for the right price. Let's see what you got. And, ooh. That's a, that's nice. How much for... Holy hell, he's selling bullets for cheap. Damn cheap, and we can get Vic another upgrade, too. Hi. Hello there, I'm Skeeter. I sort of put things, I sort of put things together here. You have a battery that I can use to fix a car? Funny you should ask that. You see, cars use replaceable fuel cells or batteries for fuel. What usually broke down was the fuel cell controller. Most amateur mechanics just assume that the battery itself. But you know what assuming things does, don't you? Uh, no, what do you mean? Well, assuming makes an ass out of you and me. <laughs> Get it? That's still good, well, ain't it? <laughs> I've used that for years. I like doing voices for the various characters. It helps add a little bit of life to these games. Plus, I think it makes the streams a little bit more lively. Don't you think so? Assuming, of course, the voices I'm doing aren't, you know, obnoxious. Here's Sledgehammer. I don't think there's anything else other than that Sledgehammer and... S oh, hey. I did give away a set of pliers, so I could use some more. But yeah, the car's nice. You ever... Hmm. Why, hello there. My name's Gordon. Gordon Gecko. Hello, Gordon. I'm Tycho. What do you do here? I look for opportunities. Opportunities? Like what? I look for ways of maximizing my potential worth. Sounds like greed to me. I am greedy. Most people understand greed. Greed is a powerful driving force. Throughout history, mankind's greatest achievements were driven by men that wanted, but that wanted better positions. Driven by greed. Greed, for lack of a better word, it's good. He's kind of got a point there. Greed and moderate amounts actually can be pretty, can actually be a pretty damn good driving force. The problem is rampant greed, like when it goes unchecked and unpunished. Because while it can be a great driving force for progress, it can also be an immense driving force to just fuck over people and societies. Uh, I'll take your word for that, Gordon, but what does greed have to do with Gecko? So far, not much. But in greed lies Gecko's salvation. I have important information about the survival of Gecko, but I can't get anyone to listen to me. What kind of information? Well, I've calculated that if our reactors were to properly, we could generate an enormous amount of excess power. Far more than Gecko needs. Yeah, so? I've also found out from a very reliable source. Alt City cannot expand without additional power. Alt City can't expand? Alt City, you can see, has enough power for their current needs, as long as they're careful. But the vault power plant that they used was never designed for the increased load their city was putting on. <laughs> <coughs> it's starting to hurt. It's at peak capacity right now. Without more power, they can't expand. I don't see how that helps you. Well, if our power plants work better, we could trade our excess power and technical expertise to Vault City in exchange for medical tech. And? Without more power, Vault City will burn out the reactor within 15 years. Gecko's reactor is impaired. We won't last half that time. Without med tech, all of the schools are going to die off in the next 20 anyway. Everyone loses Vault City and Gecko don't cooperate. You're just a good Samaritan, huh? Somehow I don't buy that. Not at all. I've got my end covered. I'd be the natural choice to administer this project. Greed is my driving force. A thousand of lives are saved by it. Greed is good. At least it would be if I get anyone in Bolt City to read my economic data. Hmm, might be able to show the data to someone in Bolt City. Well, I have the relevant economic data on a disk. You may have it. If you promise to show the data to someone in Bolt City that can understand and make use of the data it contains. But be discreet with it. Not everyone there will be happy 
talk to us ghouls. All right, I'll take the gifts. I'll make sure it gets in the right hands. Yeah, mm. this intelligence looks good. Well done. Here's your payment, $300. All right, got any more work? Yeah, actually, I need someone to travel to NCR. Lately, I've been hearing reports that the Republic might be building up military strength. True or not, I need someone to plot a route to NCR and report back. Just travel to NCR and come back? That's all I need. I'm more interested in the route than the Republic itself, but I still need you to enter the city once you get there. I'll take the job. I'll report back when I'm done. Save here. And like I said, I got to call it here because I got to get ready for work soon. Everybody who showed who dropped by, thank you for showing up. Thank you for being here and being awesome, wonderful people. We'll be continuing this on Saturday. No, on Saturday, where we'll be able to do a much longer stream. Because I do not have to work Sunday. So everyone who showed up, thank you so much. If you if you liked what you saw, be sure to follow. You can also follow me on you can also follow me on Twitter going by the same name, Wired Wolf, for direct interaction and updates and the like. You can also follow me on YouTube as well by the same name, where I, where I upload highlights, and I have a SSD on the way, so once I update, upgrade to Windows 10 and have access to some production software, I'll also be uploading some experiments there as well. Thank everybody for showing up and watching, and you have a wonderful, beautiful time, and you all, and all of you, stay classy. Cheerio.